borrowing, the good, the bad, and the cost associated. Meet 27-year-old Karthik. Karthik loves to shop and spends all his money on buying various expensive things. When Karthik was in college, he used to spend all his pocket money and also borrow from his family and friends in case he was short of cash. Once he started working, Karthik got a credit card and instead of borrowing from family and friends, he started using his credit card for various purchases like a new phone every year, shoes, gadgets, watches. It was easy for him to do that because he didn't have to have the cash to pay for the purchase. The credit card is a form of short-term borrowing wherein one gets 30 to 45 days to pay the bill and if one does not repay the total amount due on time, an interest of 30 to 40 percent per annum is charged. Karthik had done too much shopping and bought many unnecessary items but did not have the money to clear his credit card bills fully and hence ended up paying only a partial amount with interest every month. His spendthrift lifestyle continued for a while. He not only spent all his salary and used up his credit card but also started taking loans. He took his family for vacation to Singapore last year. The total cost for the vacation came up to a whopping 2 lakh rupees. As he had used up his credit card limit, he decided to take a personal loan from the bank to fund the trip. The personal loan interest was 15% per year. Let's understand how a loan works. Firstly, when we borrow money from banks, other financial institutions, or non-financial institutional lenders like money lenders, NBFCs, etc., it is called as external sources of borrowing. In this case, Karthik borrows a sum of 2 lakh rupees from the bank for a period of one year. 2 lakhs is the principal amount and one year is the tenure of the loan. The interest is charged at 15% per year. Interest is the money we pay to the lender for giving us the loan. To repay the loan in one year's time, Karthik will pay 2 lakh rupees towards the principal and 30,000 rupees towards interest repayment. So the total amount he would have to repay is 2 lakh 30,000 rupees at the end of one year. The good part about loans is that one can use them for various needs like funding education, setting up a business, to buy a house, etc. However, one must keep in mind that there is a price that one pays to take this loan, which is the interest. While loans are easily available to fund almost everything these days, like vacations, high-value gadgets, etc., one should borrow only for important needs. In the case of Karthik, not only does he spend all his salary, he borrows on credit cards and takes loans to fund his unnecessary expenses, like buying the most expensive new phone or a fancy bike. This ends him up with a lot of payments to be made and very little savings to rely on even for emergencies. Thus, one must not get taken in by easy availability of loans and must keep a check on credit card expenditure and not borrow unnecessarily.